Hey, I'm Kevin with Aldridge, and we're going to cover how to set up Teams voice conference calling. We have two options of how we can set up a Teams call. Uh, most likely usage case is going to be using through Outlook. Simply so click New Teams Meeting. We'll open a new dialog window. As you would do with any other normal meeting, give it a title. You can mention who the required attendees are, optional attendees. Set your date. The nice thing about it is that it pre-populates all of the information that's necessary for the Teams meeting. Include the link, uh, dial-in codes, anything that could possibly be necessary. Um, it'll be automatically included on the email as it gets sent out. The other approach is doing it through the Teams app. We can come over to Calendar and State, click on New Meeting. Very similar, add title. This is going to be a test meeting. We're going to add our test group to the meeting. Again, you can set the duration, all kinds of extra information. And when you hit send, it's going to send out the meeting invite and it also places it on the calendar. Should you need to edit um, or some other options that are available to you, simply click on the meeting itself, click on edit. We now have meeting options available to us. When you click meeting options, you get another page this page here. So when you place a call into a Teams conference call, you'll be placed into a lobby first where you, the participants wait until the host or organizer opens the lobby and lets everybody in. However, you can allow people to bypass the lobby and you have your choices of who can do that. You can also always let callers bypass. You can have Teams announce when callers join or leave. Um, I would personally recommend on large calls to turn that feature off. You don't want to get interrupted 87 times uh, when people come in and then 87 times again when they leave. Got options on who can present in the call. Options for allowing the attendees to have a microphone or not. Likewise with the camera, meeting chat, and reactions. All pretty straightforward.